uh, we have uh, this uh, model, g of t is equal to 35,000 over 1 plus 13 times e raised to the negative 0.49t. And uh, we're asked a question here. Uh, it says find the population after one year, five years, and 13 years. So this is a model here representing population. And then we've got another question. What is the limit of g of t as t goes to infinity? And uh, what exactly does this mean? So uh, working on the first part here, uh, find the population after one year. Well, all that they mean by that is is just evaluate it and for one year. And so we just uh, find g of 1. which means we just plug 1 directly in. And so we end up having 35,000, just uh, rewriting everything here, over 1 plus 13e to the negative 0.49 times 1. And we get that. All right, then you do the same thing for 5 and then the same thing for 13 years. You're going to find g of 5 and g of 13. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let you plug that into the calculator and work that out. Now what about this here, the limit of g of t as t goes to infinity? Well, let's, let's just kind of look at this up here. Um, This e raised to the negative 0.49t is actually something that can be rewritten. And I'm going to do that uh, in, a, in a separate color here. Um, I'm just going to rewrite this part right here. And so this is 1 over e to the negative 0.49t. But uh, it's not negative, it's positive. Okay, so I rewrote just this piece right here. Now, as t down here gets larger and larger, what's going to happen to the whole thing in the bottom? Well, it's going to become larger, because you got to remember what this graph looked like again. Remember that this graph, e to the negative 49t, that this graph was increasing. So as t gets larger and larger, this whole piece here gets larger and larger. But what does that mean for the whole thing? Well, 1 over a large number, 1 over a much larger number, well, the whole thing is approaching 0. So as t goes to infinity, this whole piece here approaches 0. Now, it doesn't matter that we have a 13 here, because even a 13 up here in the top, 13 over a very large number, this number in the bottom is growing very fast, and that means that the whole thing is going to 0. So this piece here is going to go to 0. And, of course, we have a constant here, 1. And, therefore, 1 would be left in the bottom. So, thinking now about this limit, once again, as t goes to infinity, then the whole thing is going to go to 35,000. And so, what does this mean? Well, this means that over the long term, as time goes to infinity, right, the population reaches 35,000.